This is Cashflow Ninja, episode 288 with MC Lobsher. Welcome to the Cashflow Ninja, the podcast sharing how to create income streams and manage, multiply, and protect your wealth in the new economy. Here is your host inside the dojo, MC Laubscher. Hello, Cashflow Ninjas. MC Laubscher here, and welcome to another episode of the Cashflow Ninja. I have a great show for you today, and in today's episode, we're going to look at how you can create, protect, and multiply your wealth in any economy without getting ripped off by the banking and financial institutions and the government. I'm self-hosting today's episode and we'll share some general information on what's been happening in the past year and lessons I've learned and also share the very exciting changes that are ahead in 2018. As many listeners uh, that have been listening and following the show for the past two years will know, I used to do a self-hosted episode called Wisdom Wednesday. So I did that every Wednesday, and I would discuss a topic or a concept or share a lesson that I've learned on my journey. This was, of course, before my son was born, and between the amazing things happening in my life um, with my family, my business, and my investments, I realized that I just could not do the Wisdom Wednesdays anymore because of the time commitment that it took on my end. I really poured my heart and soul into these episodes and really researched for hours to provide as much value as I possibly could to you, the listener. So today I have a smile on my face because I still remember those late nights uh, writing and researching and also recording the episodes from my dinner table um, in our old place. If you're a new listener, I lit- literally started the podcast with a laptop and about a $25 headset. Uh, you could probably go back and see uh, how terrible the sound was with some of the first initial episodes that I did. But I brought a lot of energy and a lot of passion to this because this is really, it started out as a passion project and it's just gone from strength to strength. And uh, I've just been blessed uh, with the amount of growth um, uh, that we've been able to achieve and the amount of people that we've been able to reach across the world. So I definitely bootstrapped this for sure. Um, But anyway, I'm very, very excited to jump in today's show and topic and look forward to producing as much value as I can for you today during your workout, your commute, uh, during your workday, or if you're just listening while you're relaxing uh, at home. A couple of housekeeping things, besides publishing three episodes per week on the Cashflow Ninja, I'm also posting seven videos per week on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, I'm really trying to grow those channels, so please like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm also going to start doing live streams on Facebook and YouTube, so if you want to join the conversation and ask me any question Uh, You can like our Facebook page and also subscribe to YouTube so you can get notified when these live streams happen. I'm planning on doing these live streams on Friday uh, at noon Eastern Standard Time. I do live in the United States um, in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, in between uh, Philadelphia and New York City is the two major cities. So it's about 45 minutes from Philly, uh, about an hour and a half from New York City. I'm also doing about two to three videos on Instagram. You can follow me at the Cashflow Ninja on Instagram, trying to build out that platform as well. So I'm putting out a, a ton of content. I'm trying to be omnipresent, uh, and I would really appreciate your support on these platforms. Um, other platforms that I'm on as well as Bigger Pockets, Steemit, uh, DTube, which is very uh, growing. I'm very excited about that. Minds, a social media, LinkedIn. So you can pretty much follow me anywhere to connect uh, if you're active on any of those platforms. But as I mentioned, I'm really trying to build out Facebook and YouTube. So I appreciate your support with that. Please share your feedback and thoughts on today's interview. You can let me know your thoughts on Twitter by tweeting me at MC Lobsher or by email at info at cashflowninja.com. And please remember to join our mailing list by signing up at cashflowninja.com or texting Cashflow Ninja to 44222. 
I'm publishing weekly and daily videos on YouTube. You can check out all of my videos at youtube.com forward slash cashflow ninja. Please subscribe to my channel to get updates when I post these videos. Life settlement investments have allowed financial and banking institutions to not only buy their equity contractually, but also diversify their capital from any economic market, and geopolitical risk. It's been part of the billion-dollar blueprint followed by institutional investors. And if you are an accredited investor, you can also now participate in this vehicle with enormous growth potential. You can watch an informational webinar presented by one of the premier organizations providing life settlement investments, Penumbra Solutions, at cashflowninja.com forward slash life settlements. Blockchain technologies and cryptocurrencies will not only disrupt money, but every industry on the planet. These new innovations and technologies will affect every area of our lives in the future. The cryptocurrency course teaches you everything you need to know about getting started and profiting with cryptocurrencies and includes expert training from the top crypto experts in the world. You'll learn how to buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrencies, how to safely store your crypto, how to become a sound investor investor, even if you're just a beginner, and how to apply blockchain technology to your business. You can watch a free crypto masterclass and grab the crypto course at cashflowninja.com forward slash crypto course. Are you having a hard time finding great investment properties? Norada Real Estate provides everything you need to invest in the best deals across the United States. Their simple proven system will help you create real wealth and passive monthly cash flow. Get your free copy of the ultimate guide to passive real estate investing at noradarealestate.com forward slash guide. Today, I'll be sharing some information first of what is happening in my world and also reflect on some of the lessons that I've learned. And I'm happy to share it since I think uh, these lessons and some experiences might resonate with you. And then I'm going to jump into our topic for the day So uh, my intention is to make it rain with value for you today. So as you know, I am the creator and host of the Cashflow Ninja podcast, but I'm also the president and chief executive officer of Valhalla Wealth Financial. Valhalla Wealth Financial is a wealth consultation and coaching firm that helps people build their wealth outside of Wall Street in any economy. It's been a fantastic business. We have grown every single year, and we have now clients in over uh, 36 states in the United States. Uh, We uh, service clients and have the ability to service clients in all 50 states. Um, And we have strategic partners also in Canada to also serve our Canadian listeners. Now, there are a lot of changes that we're making at Valhalla Well starting today that I wanted to share. For those of you that have listened to the show, you've heard me talk about mentors in my life and the role that mentors have played in my life. And they've truly just provided me with fantastic guidance. Now, after a lot of research and studying and attending several conferences in February, for those of you that have listened to the show, I uh, was very honored to speak at the Infinite Banking Think Tank in Birmingham, Alabama, hosted by the Nelson Nash Institute. And then I also attended the 10X uh, Growth Con in Las Vegas uh, that uh, was hosted by Grant Cardone and his team. And there was a lot of life-changing information shared at these conferences. And I realized that after attending these conferences, I needed to make some changes to prepare and position myself, my company, and my clients, not only to survive in the coming years, but to absolutely thrive. So the first change that I'm going to announce is going to be the biggest of them all. We are rebranding our company. That's right. We are rebranding Valhalla Wealth. So moving forward, Valhalla Wealth will be called Producers wealth. There's a couple of reasons for this. First, uh, I, for the last three years, tried to secure an exclusive trademark on the name Valhalla Wealth. And because there are other companies that have Valhalla in their name and also operate in the wealth management space and wealth space, this caused a number of challenges. It became clear this year that um, it was a challenge that it's 
that that just it would become an area that's just going to cost me money and more and more money every month, and I was not going to get the outcome uh, that I wanted in the end. And I'm very very focused on outcomes. You know, when there's a challenge or or a problem, I always look at what the outcome is that we're trying to achieve, and that's the main driver in my decisions decision making, my problem solving, and trying to bring in resources. Right. So in business. Um, I've learned you need to pivot and change direction. And I did secure an exclusive trademark for producers wealth. And you might be thinking, why does a name and a trademark matter? Well, this is a lesson that I've learned in business. And it is that intangibles are the most important part of your business. Absolutely. You can replicate products and services and technologies and systems and processes, but your brand is the intangible that will still help you maintain superiority uh, in your space and will still help you stand out. Just think, for instance, Coca-Cola and sodas, right? There's a ton of sodas out there, uh, many different types of sodas. But Coca-Cola, Pepsi, those brands are clearly illustrate just the power uh, of intangibles. Think, you know, any, pick any space, technology, think Apple, Microsoft, uh, and so forth. So a strong brand uh, really also ties into your culture of your company, and it helps you to attract your ideal clients and much, much more. I mean, I could do an entire episode just about branding and what I've learned uh, and what has worked for me with regards to branding. So I've always tried to build really strong brands in my companies. Cashflow Ninja is now an international brand in the investing in business and education space. We have uh, been downloaded and listened to in over 175 countries right now. So it's a strong brand. It's growing. It's getting recognition. Um, and Valhalla Wealth, because of several other businesses using it, was not going to be the brand that I envisioned. And I couldn't protect it as well, right? So you have to be able to protect your brand and I would have been left defenseless with Valhalla Wealth. So secondly, there are many exciting things and services I'm bringing on to my company. First, in its current shape, Valhalla was going to be an American company, right? And at most a North American company, not a global one. And scalability is absolutely key in the information age. You need to be able to scale and scale globally, right? And if I'm going to try and help people, why not try and help as many people as I can all across the world? Why limit it to uh, the United States or North America? It's also a B2C company, Valhalla Wealth, right? So it was a business to a customer or a client direct. So I provide uh, services and value to people directly. Uh, and as I mentioned, we've, we've been uh, over 30, 36 states. Uh, uh, we have clients in the US right now. So this is another big takeaway for me at the conferences. This leaves my business vulnerable in this new economy. And I talk about this new economy constantly, and I try to teach um, and, um, and share what I learn in trying to figure this out because the, you know, there's no silver bullet. There's no magic bullet that's just going to, to uh, basically uh, ensure uh, your success. So, the one thing that I've learned from my mentor, one of my mentors currently is Grant Cardone, is that you have to have different income streams within the same vertical for your business. If you don't, you're going to run in massive trouble and probably could go out of business in the next couple of years. Guys, there's massive disruption. We just saw uh, Toys R Us just filed for bankruptcy. The biggest... Um, radio station on the planet, basically, as far as channels that they offer is iHeartRadio, or one of them, they just filed for bankruptcy. So there, there's massive, massive changes coming. Now, I've been helping businesses and more specifically business owners also through consulting and coaching um, and teaching business continuation and self-financing strategies, but it was a really sp a small part of my business too small. And therefore, I'm extremely vulnerable. And to be honest with you, I would say currently in that 
old model my business was too vulnerable, so much so that I think that it wouldn't survive a 2008, 2009 crisis because my business would solely rely or the majority of it on people and direct to clients. And when a 2008, 2009 crisis happened, uh, most people are going to suffer financially and that will impact that business. And uh, this impacted a lot of business on the last go around, especially if they only had one income stream um, in the same vertical that they had their business in, right? So I realized that I needed to be able to provide value for people um, and also find a way to provide value for businesses. So the last big reason for a pivot is to create that model for my business that also provides recurring revenue. Currently, this model inside my business is very weak, to be honest. And again, I don't have a problem opening up my books and being as transparent as po- as possible. I've always been, and I just share what I learned. So I would say that my model is weak, very weak with the recurring revenue model. I tried different things with a pos- podcast as well that didn't really work out, if you've listened to older episodes. So, but yeah, it, and one of the things that it ties into, because of this a uh, weakness that I have with the recurring revenue model, it definitely exposes my business and makes it vulnerable to the yearly sales cycle. So I've already mentioned two vulnerabilities, right? Only servicing people, but not only, but not servicing businesses. And also uh, not having a strong recurring revenue model uh, that rides out uh, the yearly sales cycle. And if you're a business owner, you understand that every business uh, in the industry that you're in has a sales cycle. There's spikes and then there's, um, there's peaks and valleys, right? And cash flow is extremely, extremely important to the, the, a business. It's the life blood of a business, right? So recognizing that intangibles are the most important thing for a business the opportunity to scale and add another income stream within the same vertical to diversify income streams for my business and also to establish a recurring revenue side to my business are the four big reasons why I pivoted and made adjustments um, and uh, rolled Valhalla Wealth into producers' wealth. The fifth reason is that I wanted to also create a community and network. And I have to admit, this is another part where I've not been able to do it successfully, even with Cashflow Ninja. Within my business, I partnered with people to try to try it, but it was also not successful because of different goals and different things we all wanted from it. So I do want to create a strong community and network globally uh, and position my company better to do it. And I believe I have a better chance of doing it successfully with a different model. By the way, side note, (laughs) I am looking for people globally to join my company. If you're interested in an opportunity, email me at info at cashflowninja.com. I am looking for producers and creators to build something very special with. I'm looking for partners and team members and also looking for affiliates and ambassadors anywhere in the world. So as an affiliate and an ambassador, you will make money promoting Producers Wealth University, which I'll get to, which will be one part, uh, a new part of my company. So Producers Wealth is born and uh, it's off and running. Why Producers Wealth? Well, I also wanted to be very, very clear with that brand, Producers Wealth, of who we serve, who is a good fit for us, because we are not a good fit uh, for everyone. We're a great fit for some people, but not a good fit for everyone. Scarcity mindset and a philosophy, uh, and, and a scarcity philosophy. Um, People that operate with that mindset, they're not a good fit for us, right? Dave Ramsey and Susie Orman followers, they're not a good fit for us. Um, If you have zero debt and all of your money is in mutual funds that are paying you 12% per year, like Dave advises, not only, let me repeat, not only will you get crushed, but you're not a good fit for us. Um, It's just a matter of time, by the way, on that. The millionaire next door is also broke. He's not a millionaire. The millionaire next door is really hanging on to what he or she has with a scarcity mindset and is not expanding. And expansion is necessary for survival. You have to expand and grow. Otherwise, you die. 
By the way, most people amongst us are already dead. They're just going to wait about 70 to 80 years to make it official because they've, they've stopped growing. They've stopped expanding. So we're looking for people with growth mindsets. Get rich quick people. There's a ton of gimmicks out there. Um, we're not a fit for get rich quick people. We're interested in uh, getting rich for sure. So if you still believe in 401ks and other qualified plans and your brother is a CPA and your best friend is a financial planner and you want to argue why you think investing in, in stock markets uh, and specifically in index funds like Tony Robbins said you should because you're going to get 8% returns consistently for 30 to 40 years, we're not a good fit. I really like Tony, but that's horrible advice. None of the money masters, by the way, that Tony interviewed in his book, built their empires by investing in index mutual funds. The reason they are telling you to do so is because they think that you're too stupid to do anything else. And I'm just giving it to you straight, uh, straight up, no chaser. And the sad thing is, that is probably their best advice for the average Joe Sixpack and Cheryl Chardonnay because they don't listen to shows like this and invest in themselves like you're doing. You're listening to MC Lobster on the Cashflow Ninja Podcast. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. MC Lobster is the host of the top-rated business and investing podcast, Cashflow Ninja, and also the president of Producers Wealth. Producers Wealth assists people in creating, protecting, and perpetually multiplying wealth in any economy through creating processes that help them increase their production, provide them with liquidity, passive income generators, and opportunities for enormous growth. Learn more about their time-tested and proven systems at yourownbankingsystem.com. You're listening to MC Lobster on the Cashflow Ninja Podcast, and now back to our interview. We're also going to be selling products and services. So if that offends people, which it might, um, you're then not a good fit for us. And those folks are not a good fit for us. So we're putting out so much free content, three shows a week, seven to 10 videos a week on Facebook and YouTube, two to three videos on Instagram. We have a library of free education of close to 300 episodes of financial education that you will not find anywhere else. Um, I mean, we have everything from mindset to tactical implementation, uh, covering real estate, commodities, paper assets, blockchain and crypto, uh, you name it, we've, we've covered it. So if we charge for premium content and license premium content from partners, um, that's one way that we will develop our recurring revenue model. So let me tell you who's a great fit for us. And I've mentioned who probably wouldn't be a good fit for us because there are amazing, amazing producers and creators of value on this planet that's just ready to blow the roof off in 2018. And you're, and you're such a good fit for us, by the way. We are about a worldview and a philosophy of abundance and expansion, not contraction. I created the producer's code to also identify who we are, to communicate it better to the marketplace and what we stand for so we can attract the right people and the right companies. The producer's code lets people understand who we are and what our core philosophy and values and principles are. So here's the producer's code. Producers know that their greatest asset is themselves. Producers know that their greatest investment is in themselves and their business. Producers value relationships that increase production and creation. Producers focus on solving problems and creating outcomes for the marketplace. Producers live with intent, making an impact in their families, their communities, and the marketplace. Producers optimize wealth by controlling it. Producers value preparation over planning. Producers value protection over tolerance. Producers value production and creation over consumption. Producers value abundance over scarcity. Producers execute strategies based on principle and philosophy. Producers are independent, self-reliant, and free human beings. Producers value private property contracts, and the non-aggression principle. 
Producers know that success is their ethical and moral obligation and duty. Producers own and control the future. Do you know why I put uh, that in the end of uh, the producer's code, that they own and control the future? Because if you control something, you're responsible and accountable for it. And that brings me to my topic for the day, how to create and protect and multiply wealth in any economy without getting ripped off by Wall Street and the government. If you control something, you are responsible and accountable for it. Three things people struggle to control and do is make money, keep and protect money, and multiply money. If you control your income, you're responsible for it. What if you have so much control over your income uh, that you know how to create and produce income consistently and know how to increase that income by 20 to 30% in any economy? How do you do that? Well, I've spoken about um, the wealth form formula that I've learned from a mentor, which is your mental capital times your relationship capital equals your financial capital. On the mental capital, you need a high income skill set that is economy and market proof, but also robot proof. Now, what high income skill set has all of those things? Sales and marketing. Besides the fact that you will not be able to get along in life without the ability to persuade and negotiate a deal, if you become a professional and master this skill, the world is your oyster. Everyone is, is in sales, really. Everyone is in sales. Whether you know it or not, you're in sales. So you might as well become a professional and a master and one of the greats. That means you must know how to promote, market, sell, scale, and expand your wealth. Sales is an expansion activity. Remember, I spoke about we need to grow and expand constantly. And this has been one of the greatest uh, skill sets uh, for me that took me from sitting in a 400-square-foot studio apartment, broke, heartbroken, and physically a broken man. This was around 2011 to where I am today, running multiple companies, hosting one of the top rated investing and business shows on iTunes uh, that has been downloaded in over 175 countries. So how did a guy that had failed businesses and investments, a failed relationship and a reconstructive surgery done on injuries that, that I sustained from sp my sports career, sitting in a 400 square foot studio, how did, how did I turn things around? One of the greatest things that is 100% completely in your control, my friend, is your mindset and your attitude. Regardless of where you are in the world, you can control your mindset and your attitude. And so besides taking control over my life and taking ownership and becoming response or taking responsibility rather for everything that happened in my life up until that stage and being absolutely accountable moving forward to myself, and I also changed my philosophy, my values, and my principles, foundational restructuring, as I call it. I mastered a high income skill set and I became a professional at it. And that was one of the biggest changes that happened for me. Now, you're going to always need to find clients and customers um, and be able to communicate to them and persuade them to do business with you by increasing your mental capital and growing and expanding your relationship capital, you will be able to control your financial capital. By the way, if you use the wealth formula, which we use for the infrastructure of our planning, mental capital times your relationship capital equals your financial capital, when you convert that financial capital into cash flow, you're still going to have to sell. And it, you're, you're going to need your mental capital and relationship capital again to be able to do that. For instance, if you wanted, if you want ten thousand dollars in passive income per month, that's about one hundred and twenty thousand dollars per year. So let's just also say that you can get a consistent return of about twelve percent on that money. And I'm just using this all for round numbers so it's easily understandable. That means you need about a million dollars of financial capital to make that happen. So how are you going to do it? If you master a high income skill set like sales and marketing, 
you can also, through your relationship capital, get close to the money to achieve your goal. If you're going to raise capital from others, for instance, to be able to achieve that goal, you're going to have to do that through your relationship capital. And guess what? You're still going to be able uh, and need to be able to sell uh, your deal to your relationships and your network through communication and persuasion. So control your income and take responsibility for it. Keeping and protecting your money is a different skill set. First, uh, just uh, like um, a martial artist takes a defensive move first before going on the attack, you have to do the same thing with wealth and wealth planning. So what are some of the greatest wealth destroyers on the planet? Taxes, inflation, fees and commissions, lawsuits. I mean, there's a whole list of them. So we have to be cognizant of them and we have to be able to first take a defensive step backwards to make sure that we're protected against these and we have a plan to combat them before we go on to the attack. So how do we protect what we have first before we go out and multiply it? Where do you put your money as part of your cash flow management system? Where do people warehouse their wealth? And more specific, where do cash flow ninjas and the wealthy warehouse their wealth? People who have been warehousing their wealth in real estate, land banking, precious metals, gold and silver, art collections, now cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and altcoins, and traditionally in banks. But the wealthy elite and banks and corporations have also used mutual insurance companies and insurance contracts to warehouse their wealth. And it's done through a cash flow banking strategy. Cash flow banking, infinite banking, bank on yourself, those are all different names. We'll just call it cash flow banking. Through the strategy, you can warehouse your wealth in a dividend paying whole life uh, contract that has security, predictability, guarantees, and tax free growth. Also, with asset protection, these contracts are private, so no one knows that you have them. And then you can all of course, also leverage it to invest in real estate and other passive income generators. Remember, you are the king or the queen of your kingdom. This is your vault and a war chest that accumulates and grows regardless of what happens in the markets and economy. And when you have cash, you can capitalize on opportunities and invest to expand your kingdom. You know, my friend, I, in 2008, there were so many deals. I mean, mean, it was was insanity, but I didn't have cash and I didn't have access to capital. So I couldn't capitalize on deals uh, and the entire world was on sale uh, during that crisis, right? Everyone knows cash is king or queen. (laughs) So take control over protecting your money. The third part of this is how do you multiply your wealth in any economy? Because I just mentioned it, right? Uh, In the beginning of this episode, you have to take control over your investments. Once you create and produce income and you know where to warehouse and protect it, you can also leverage it to invest in passive income generators. What are the passive income generators that will help you? We've utilized real estate investments like turnkey real estate and private lending for non-accredited investors, multifamily and mobile home park syndications for accredited investors. They've been fantastic passive income generators. We love it because of the cash flow, the tax advantages, the appreciation and depreciation, and the controlled leverage it provides. You have to put it into vehicles that provide passive income, not earned income, passive income, the least tax income. And if it's done correctly, it could be tax free. Now, there are also vehicles like life settlements that big banks and insurance companies love because you can literally buy your own equity. Life settlements involves investing in life insurance policies. I'll give you a quick example. A person that is 85 is sick and the life expectancy is about five to seven years. He or she lost um, their shirts uh, in 2008, 2009. They've lost all their money uh, in qualified plans in their Fidelity brokerage account. And he or she also lost all the equity in their home and it never really recovered after the housing crash. 
to add to this misery, this person had a financial advisor that really stuck it to them uh, by selling them like a universal life policy, index or variable. And let's just say they put almost 900 grand into this policy, but now they have $200,000 in cash value because the renewable term ate it all up and the death benefit is about 5 million. Now, what can they do? You know, they actually still have an asset that they didn't know of. They can contact a life settlement company and this company will come in and buy that policy for about a million dollars. So he or she will get about five times the amount of money uh, than of the surrender value of the policy. And they can live out the remainder of their life comfortably with dignity. And then when he or she passes away, the life settlement company gets the four million equity minus, of course, the cost to pay for the policy while he or she was still alive. So essentially what the life settlement company did was bought um, their equity and equity for, of four million for that one million dollars. I've done several podcast episodes on life settlements. If you're interested more in that investment, you can check them out uh, in our library at cashflowninja.com. Now, what if you have the ability to increase your income 20 to 30% in the next 90 days? What if you had the ability to increase your income 20 to 30% in the next 90 days? What if you had complete control over your income and can increase it every month and every year? Do you think that you can do that if you focus 95% of your focus production on increasing your income and 5% on reducing your expenses and costs? Like, for instance, the cash flow ninjas do. What if you can save 40 to 50% of your income like the top 1%? And we're able to protect it from taxes, inflation, and lawsuits. And what if you never lost a cent? What do you think will happen to your wealth if you can minimize taxes and maybe not even pay it taxes on income legally uh, or invested in hard assets that outpaces inflation, reduces and limit the fees in, in your financial plan? Not the Wall Street assets under management model that charges you 2%, regardless of what they do for you. Um, And as studies have shown, that can eat up two-thirds of your profits over 20 to 40 years. Would your wealth compound or would your wealth compound and multiply? Would you be able to achieve the same results in 10 to 15 years that took 98% of people 30 to 40 years to do? So... I know I covered quite a lot and you might feel like you're drinking out of a fire hose right now, but I put together a webinar, uh, a masterclass that I dive much, much more into detail and depth um, into all these topics that we discussed. You can check out this webinar at yourownbankingsystem.com. That's yourownbankingsystem.com. And by the way, you can check out everything on Producers Wealth at producerswealth.com. In this webinar, I'm also going to share three secrets with you. And because I will over deliver, I will throw in a fourth secret as well. So I look forward to seeing you on the webinar and the masterclass. So there you have it, my friend. Producers Wealth is launched and I'm excited to have shared why we made the changes and why we pivoted and adjusted and also shared some content that we teach and help our clients implement. One thing that I've learned on my journey is that the key to attaining and accomplishing any goal in any area of your life is really, really simple. It requires actionable education and training a power team, coaching and mentors, and a community and network. And we will be providing all of this globally now, which truly, truly excites me. Um, I'm very, very excited of of Producers Wealth and um, what we're going to be able to achieve with that. So if you're interested in learning more, please join me on the webinar and please check out our website at producerswealth.com. My friend, thank you so much for spending your time with me today. I just want to let you know that I really, really appreciate you and I appreciate the support that you've given me 
on this journey that we're together on. Uh, if you are unhappy currently in life, I was, I just mentioned in 2011, I sat in a square, a 400 square foot studio feeling really down and out and very unhappy with my current situation in life. Make a decision to change it, commit to it and go for it. You really get one at bat in this life. Don't settle, don't be average, and do not live up to the potential that you know that you have inside of you. Another big lesson that a mentor of mine taught me was that everything that you don't like in your life, you're tolerating. So stop tolerating the things that you do not like. I've made a decision uh, and success has become an ethical thing for me, a learning from my mentors. So I hope you found today's episode valuable and I look forward to the next show. Thank you for joining me again on the Cashflow Ninja and thank you for all of your support. You rock. If you like what you hear and appreciate what we're trying to build here at the Cashflow Ninja, please subscribe, rate and review our show on iTunes and share our show with family, friends and your network. If you're not a subscriber to the Cashflow Ninja Gosh Good Newsletter, you can sign up for our newsletter at cashflowninja.com or text Cashflow Ninja to 44 Life settlement investments have allowed financial and banking institutions to not only buy their equity contractually, but also diversify their capital from any economic, market, and geopolitical risk. It's been part of the billion-dollar blueprint followed by institutional investors. And if you're an accredited investor, you now can also participate in this vehicle with enormous growth potential. You can watch an informational webinar presented by one of the premier organizations providing life settlement investments, Penumbra Solutions, at cashflowninja.com forward slash life settlements. Blockchain technologies and cryptocurrencies will not only disrupt money, but every industry on the planet. These new innovations and technologies will affect every area of our lives in the future. The cryptocurrency course teaches you everything you need to know about getting started and profiting with cryptocurrencies and also includes expert training from the top crypto experts in the world. You will learn about how to buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrencies how to safely store your crypto, how to become a sound investor, even if you're just a beginner, and how to apply blockchain technology to your business. You can watch a free crypto masterclass and grab the crypto course at cashflowninja.com forward slash crypto course. Are you having a hard time finding great investment properties? Norada Real Estate provides everything you need to invest in the best deals across the United States. Their simple proven system will help you create real wealth and passive monthly cash flow. Get your free copy of the ultimate guide to passive real estate investing at noradarealestate.com forward slash guide. That's our show for today, everyone. Until next time, live a life of passion and purpose on your terms. This presentation is for educational and informational purposes only. The information being presented and considered does not consider your particular financial objectives or situation, and it does not make personalized recommendations. This material is not intended to replace the advice of a qualified tax and legal advisor or other qualified professionals, and you should not use the information in place of a customized consultation with a licensed professional regarding your specific personal financial objectives, situation and needs. We believe the information provided is reliable, but we do not guarantee its accuracy, timeliness, or completeness.